Hello, my name is Leroy Blevins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. In this video here, what I want to do is I want to talk about the John Green's tracking dog film. He filmed it in 1967 in the Blue, uh, Blue Creek Mountain area, or even close to Bluff Creek area. Well, no one actually knows when this film was shot, but I found a, a letter that uh, John Green wrote to Bob Titmus that actually gives us an actual date of when this film was shot. These are frames from the tracking dog film. John Green and him went down there because they have reports about Bigfoot tracks being seen and found and stuff. And um, in his report, he claimed that these, uh, these Bigfoot tracks was really, you know, very old or whatever. But in the film, it actually shows the, the prints in it. And they look very, very fresh to me. But anyway, here's a letter that uh, John Green wrote to Bob Titmus. Now, he wrote this letter, which I'm going to have to zoom in. On September 7th, 1967, this is when he got back from the uh, Blue Creek Mountain area, which is down by uh, Bluff Creek and uh, Mountain uh, Onion Mountain. Okay, in this letter, he talked about him and Randy DeHennon going down there, flying down there, and uh, you know, going over these Bigfoot tracks and stuff, and talked about the cast print that even Bob Titmus made and the sandbar down there in the Bluff Creek area. And in this film, he also talks about uh, when certain people got there on certain days. Just like Don Abbott uh, got there at a certain time. And then uh, five men from Humble State also arrived there. Which I'm going to pull up here. These are the dates that actually the letter tells us. Okay. He was at home on the 27th of August. 1967 that was on a Sunday and they flew down there on Monday August 28th 1967 Bob Titmus uh, excuse me Bob Titmus he talked like I said he point out right here which I point out with my cursor right here is where he talked about the 15 inch track cast print that uh, Bob Titmus made and the sandbar Don Abbott got there on, uh, he arrived on a Wednesday August the 30th 1967 now the five men from humble state which we also see them in the film as well that's well also with um, Jim McLaren okay he's from humble state as well these five men arrived on a Friday which was September 1st 1967 now this film shows these guys in there and it shows also he describes on what they've done there like this one right here like these images here, where in the letter it also talked about where he soaked uh, soaked uh, a Bigfoot track in glue and stuff, and they dug it up him and uh, Don Abbott, which is also shown images and even in the films and stuff. You know, this is when uh, John Green filmed his tracking dog film. <clears throat> now, excuse me. What I find so funny about this is September first was the beginning of Labor Day weekend of 1967. Now, they reported, when I was going through the files and reports and stuff like that, and I found some news clippings and stuff like that, newspaper clippings, where when the men returned to work in that area on September 5th, they found these tracks. But here, as letter talking about these tracks during, you know, before that, but there wasn't reported until, like I said, um, September 5th, when the guys came back from work, they reported Bigfoot tracks and everything down by the creek bed and everything else. Now, this places, this letter places John Green and them there during that Labor Day weekend, which would have been a good time to do some filming in that area because they had Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, three straight days of film with nobody around. Nobody cut no trees down, no trucks going in and out or anything else. They just have the whole mountainside to themselves for the whole weekend for a solid three days. And like I point out here, there was five men that came from Humble State on a Friday, <clears throat> which was September 1st. Now, they're also seen, they was from Humble State. They were seen in the tracking dog film as well, right along with the tracking dog. So, 
Bob, uh, John Green, excuse me, John Green shot this film during Labor Day weekend of 1967. Now, in this film, I mean in this letter, he also talked about the cast print that Bob Titmus made. Now, this is part of the film where it shows a cast print that supposedly Roger Patterson made. But we know that Bob Titmus made it. And how we know this is because here is, as you see here where my cursor is, this is the cast print that Bob Titmus made. And we know this for a fact because here it is right here. Here's Bob Titmus holding that cast in his hand. This cast he done in the Bluff Creek area. Now, as we look at it, remember, we have to look at it uh, different ways. This is the bottom of the foot. This will be the top of the foot. Now, when I study this from the film, we can see when we flip this footprint back around to its original, place it back into the sand, this is what it should look like right here. As you see, the outline of this cast that uh, Bob Titmus is holding his hand has the same outline as the cast print was made at the sandbar in Bluff Creek area. But they claim that uh, Roger Patterson made this cast. No, it was Bob Titmus who made this cast. This can be proven by his cast print and by the film because they're both got the same outlines and a cast and they're both 15 inches. And we know that uh, Roger Patterson's Bigfoot supposedly had 14 and a half inches or 14 inches, but not 15 inches, as Bob Titmus did. <clears throat> like I said, this is the letter that Bob, uh, John Green wrote to Bob Titmus. Explains everything that they'd done there in the Bluff Creek area, and the Blue Creek Mountain, and Onion Mountain. And we can go by the dates, what he says there when they arrived there, because he were, uh, said he was, um, right here is, here is how we start with the time frame is, he was home on a Sunday, which was the 27th of August. He arrived on Monday, which is the 28th of August. Uh, Don Abbott got there on a Wednesday, which was August 30th, and the five men from Hummel State got there on September 1st, which puts them down Labor Day weekend when he was there filming this film. In that time, there was other films made, but as I point out in another one, that Jim McLaren's film was actually filmed before Roger Patterson's film, this will give them a good time and right place where no one's around do any, you know, they can do all the filming they want. No one has to worry about it or anything else or anybody seeing them in that location. Now, uh, I even point out that in this book, which is right here, this is my book right here, which also talked about the tracking dog film <clears throat> and a PG film and the film of Jim McLaren. Plus also, uh, show more evidence in this book but when John Green filmed his tracking dog film was during Labor Day weekend of 1967 thank you good night